This is the new Nothing Phone 2A, a mid-range phone with a style. A champ. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome, and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Mid-range phones offer great value, but most of the time, they are just a boring piece of slab, so flagship phones will stand out. Don't get me wrong, mid-range phones are great phones these days. They bridge the gap with camera performance, speed, and more especially, they have better battery life. But what if there's a phone that will give you all the mid-range specification, maybe even better and will have flashy design that makes it feel like a true flagship phone? Today we're unboxing and reviewing Phone 2A, the mid-range offering from nothing. Let's go to work. Nothing Phone 2A is nothing short of awesomeness. This could literally compete with Galaxy A55 and Pixel 7a, but let's unbox it and check the quick specification of this phone. This phone's retail at 350 US dollars. So in terms of affordability, this could be one of your prospects if you're wanting to have a mid-range phone that gives you more for its value. This is the full specification of Nothing Phone 2A. The Nothing Phone 2A comes with a plastic body, 50% of which is obtained through recycled old materials, including ones from the Nothing Ear 2 production line. But the screen is still protected by Gorilla Glass 5 and the phone is still IP54 rated for limited dust protection and water splash resistance. I love the separations of the volume buttons to the power button, but at the same time, if you place the phone on a table on landscape mode, either you would accidentally press the power button or the volume buttons from time to time. The camera modules on the back will be a divisive subject. It looks a little bit odd, but nothing probably calls it the eye of the phone and points out that the processor is right next to the camera acting as the brain. And as we mentioned the camera module, the back portion also comes with a plastic cover, so you might want to buy a transparent case to protect the plastic body and at the same time, the glyphs will still show up. Talking about the lights or the glyphs, this is where the phone stands out in the sea of the mid-range phones. The glyphs feature 3 LED stripes versus the 11 individual piece on the phone too. It would still blink and glow in patterns for different notifications while watching movies and listening to music. And the top left arch LED stripe will still work for timer and volume level. Obviously, these lights will catch the attention of people. It's not for everyone, I guess. For more formal settings like office, meetings, or formal events, these lights can also be turned off. The performance is great using Nothing Phone 2A. I've been using it for almost two weeks now, and I couldn't find any fault on the speed and performance. My review unit has MediaTek Dimensity 7 to 200 Pro, 12 gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of storage. I have the max out version, cause why not? This phone is affordable, so might as well get the best version of it. I'm not in any way a heavy user. I do gaming, but just on my free time, maybe a couple of hours. And this phone performs the way the other flagship phones do. It doesn't have the highest graphics settings, but it opens up every single game, including Genshin Impact, PUBG, and Mobile Legends with the breeze. I just noticed a couple of times when I'm playing a little bit longer, the processor will start to heat up and it will stutter from time to time. In terms of operating system, this phone runs on Nothing OS 2.5. I'm currently running on Nothing OS 2.5.4, and the operating system is pretty much stock Google experience with Nothing putting their own skin to it. You would notice that it matches the style of the glyphs. You have the dotted lines, arrows, and letters. You can customize this phone, change the colors, icon packs, and even the layout of the home screen. This phone will receive three major OS upgrade and four years of software support. Not as long as you can see on the Samsung and Pixels of the world, but I feel it will be sufficient enough for anyone who wanting to use this phone on a long term. The camera is equally impressive with the glyphs at the back, with 50 megapixel main with OIS and EIS for anti shake, and also boasting another 50 megapixel ultra wide with 114 degrees field of view. By default, this phone shoots HDR photo, which means it takes a good second for the phone to process the images, but it will produce well balanced image. Dark shadows are sometimes non existent, and the colors are punchy, looking at the yellows and the reds, and it also provides a little bit of over sharpening, which may be good or bad depending on your preference. The ultra-wide lens provides a wider field of view, but not as wide as some of the competition I've seen. All the images are not overly sharpened and retains the finer details, which is a little bit different than the main sensor. 
Night shots are also here, but a little bit soft. I mean, not the best. I would still rate this phone as mid-range performing camera phone, but if you need it for night photography, it's there. The rear camera can shoot 4K, while the selfie can only do 1080p, and here's the sample. We're here in our studio and we're shooting on Nothing Phone 2A using the selfie camera, 1080p at 30 FPS. Look at the details on my face. It's pretty good. It's not 4K, but the quality is pretty good on this phone. And this is 4K 30 FPS using the rear camera, the main sensor on Nothing Phone 2A. I expect better quality because of 4K 30 FPS. You cannot switch between ultra wide and wide using the main sensor or the rear camera of Nothing Phone 2A. Unlike other phones like Samsung and iPhones. So just to compare, this is the main sensor on Nothing Phone 2A using the rear camera 4K 30 FPS. This is the two times digital crop. Now let's switch to the ultra wide lens. Now this is the ultra wide lens. So much better if you're using this on landscape. I will show you a little bit on vlogging. So this is the ultra wide lens on nothing phone to weigh in 4K 30 FPS. I think if you're doing vlogging, you may use the sensor because you have a wider field of view. But if you need quality, you can still use the main sensor. Maybe use a monopod and switch it a little bit and shoot yourself. Also, after this review, we will do a full comparison video of this phone versus other flagship phones and mid-range phones. So don't forget to subscribe. This comes with a generous 6.7-inch AMOLED display with the weird resolution of 1084 by 2412 that equates to 394 ppi, which is sharp enough for a phone, in my opinion. Its refresh rate goes up to 120Hz, which is quite a feat for a mid-range phone. In 2024, mid-ranges are getting higher refresh rates. The flagship iPhone 15 still has 60Hz. Imagine a flagship. The display can hit 1300 nits of max brightness, 700 nits typical, not outstanding but pretty good and should say easily be visible outdoors. I was able to see the screen outdoors but not as good as the competition. The battery is awesome and long lasting, MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro is power efficient, resulting to a day and a half battery life for me with moderate use. But as expected, although it has 5000mAh battery and 45 watts of fast charging that can fill up the phone in one hour, you are still missing on wireless charging which is not a surprise for me for its price tag. Underneath that gorgeous AMOLED display lies a fingerprint sensor, and honestly using this phone for almost two weeks, I haven't had any missed attempt on the fingerprint, maybe because I've used it on optimal condition and scenarios, but I would say the fingerprint sensor is reliable and fast. My version of Nothing Phone 2A also has dual SIM capability that offers the generous 5G connectivity, so if you're on hunt of a travel phone or if you have two SIM cards, then this will be a perfect choice for you. Also, this phone supports VOLTE. And lastly, the audio. Despite of the price tag, this phone still comes with a stereo speaker. The bottom boomer and earpiece speaker is in line with the industry standards. It sounds just fine for YouTube videos, reels, and music. And the glips also plays with it. I think overall it's a really solid choice for a mid-range phone. For its value, you wouldn't see a lot of phones with its type of approach. A flashy phone that gives you everything from the good processor, solid camera performance, flashy glips, and long-lasting battery. Nothing Phone 2 way is a mid-range phone with a style, and yes, it's a champ. And there you go, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare this phone in our channel, maybe Samsung Galaxy A55, S23 Fan Edition, and Pixel 7a, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.